Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Turbo Slate DX. Here, it's Matt, Jeremy, Jeff, and Fred. Is that good enough for you guys? Do you guys love me now? Yeah. Don't worry, this is the podcast <laughs> where we find out why Matt talks like right <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is the podcast where we find out why Matt talks like that. Yeah, I mean, he's still so but it's okay. Chaos no one else is going to know what we're talking about, but it's all right. Let's get into it. What are, what are we here for, Matt? What are we here for? Okay, guys, so just want to <laughs> talk about Smash for Switch. Dun, dun, dun. But so, that hasn't been confirmed and or denied, and it doesn't exist or whatever. Yet. Fuck you, Jeremy. You know what's happening. <laughs> Do we absolutely know Smash for sure that's happening? Game. So... What, what how could Wait. this be a topic if we don't absolutely know for sure if it so the, yeah. Nintendo's already yeah, shown yes. Nintendo's already shown on numerous occasions, aka one trailer, that uh, a lot of popular titles for the Wii U are coming to the Switch. One being Mario Kart 8.5 or 8 whatever, and one being Splatoon. So Damn. Splatoon, oh my god. The Squid Kids. Anyway, so we all know that Wait. Sakurai hates working on Smash. Or at least that's what he says. But you know he likes it because it strokes his like dick ego or whatever because he's like, oh, yes, they love it. So yeah. there's been a Smash for every console. Smash 64. Wait, what's up? When has he ever actually said that he hates that he's, he doesn't he, want he's, to work he's, like, he's he's funny. I'll, I'll, look, I'll look it up. But he said it, he's had he said, said it. He's in, tired of Yeah, he's tired of work because it's very. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. He said tired. That's, oh, my God. Hate is a strong fucking word, man. No, he's, he hates all of he you. Said, he's tired. This. He's tired of making Smash games because it's very straining on his health. And he works long hours because it's his baby. You know, Smash is his baby. But you know there oh, is. Oh, if he works on Smash anymore, his arms are gonna just melt off. He should break. get a babysitter. But uh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's right. Cool. Program Smash Brothers. <laughs> Sir, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Nintendo already hire a bunch of children. Damn, son. Anyway, yeah. so there's been a Smash Brothers for every Nintendo console. Yes, console. Uh, I was for some reason I was taking a handhelds too, but no, just console. And that's Smash 64, That's Smash good. Melee. Smash Brawl, which everyone hated, including myself. No one likes it. It's garbage. You didn't hate it. Shut up. Don't say Shut it. up. It's garbage. Well, after bad. after Project M you came out, not... ten times better. And... Yeah, that's, that's because Pro you got you played Project M, and it was exactly like Melee. And I told you not to get attached. Not to get attached, and look what happens. Look what happens. It's good, man. That's what happens when like you know fans work on things together. You get good shit. I'm anyway, so... Oh, that's what happens when fans work on Nintendo things so... together, and Nintendo is going to shut it down. Well, they shut, them down. they shut down the tournament scene for them, but they didn't shut down like... They didn't give them well, a they season. Didn't, they didn't shut it down, but yeah. it, after that happened, it pretty much was shut down. There's no like doubt. There's no argument there. They were, they were done with that shit. Anyway, guys, that, that, so yeah. there was a Smash for every console. You know, Brawl with Wii, and now it's Smash 4, or Smash for Wii U and 3DS. And Game Boy Advance is not a console. It's a handheld. 3DS isn't a console. Yeah, but I didn't say 3DS, now did Hand I? Wait, 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 hold on. Handheld console. Oh my god. It's, the oh console god. is handheld. What about oh the Super god. Nintendo? Anyway, well, any 3D Nintendo console and up, so 64 and up. Hey. So with Smash 4, so with Smash 4, shut up, Jeff. With Smash 4. What about the PlayStation 64? <laughs> <laughs> Those PlayStation Bros. But no, for uh, for for Smash 4. For Smash 4, for Wii U and 3DS. We know that came out recently. That was like two years ago, 2014. It came out because I remember it was like around what's it like September, October. I, f I forget exactly the date, but I know it's 20 2014. Yeah, so the game has the game it. itself hasn't had much hasn't had much life in itself, and with Nintendo already releasing the new console because we use bombing. Bombing the right word to use. Bombing means bad, right? Yeah, because it's oh, bombing. Yeah, it's, doing it's crashing. Bad. It's so crashing and burning. It. <laughs> it's already been discontinued. It's crashing and burning. We all know that. And it's, you know, and it's already too soon. I mean, it's only like three years into Smash 4's life that, like, you know, we all we all know they're not going to make a new, brand new Smash Bros. game. See, see, Matt, I think you undersold that a bit. You said crashing and burning. It's more like it was a dumpster fire from the very beginning. It was just lit on fire, and it just never went out. It's lit in the bad, in the bad sense. Oh, no, Matt, not, it, came, go, out, it came out September 13, 2014. Boom, yeah, there you go. Yeah, Fred with the a, research. That was a really I think that's ago. a good amount of time. For no, the... no. Why not? Well, not for Smash. Don't, we don't, first of all, let's leave, go into the topics first. Matt, continue. But yeah, so, you know, with Smash 4 not having much of a life within its with, with the Wii U, because the Wii U crashed and burned, and the Switch coming out, 
you know, any person would think to themselves, like, hey, like, Sakurai's not going to release a brand new Smash Brothers for freaking Switch. Because it's, like, too, it's too young. And a lot of, a lot of Wii U titles are seeing new life in the Switch. For what we know, I mean, we don't know the Switch is going to be 100% successful or not. But, you know, the, the, the potential is there. So, we, we will have to say it's safe to assume that Smash 4 will be ported over to the Switch. And we just want to take a minute to talk about that. Because <laughs> I like Smash. I know Jeremy has it, but he doesn't play it. Well, Fred doesn't have Nintendo. it. And Jeff doesn't have it. I mean, I have it. I have it both for the Wii U. I have it both for the Wii U and 3DS, and I bought all the bundles so I can have all the DLC for each one. And I, I personally really love the game, and I would love to see it on the Switch if it's any sort of enhanced version, or you know, if it operated better online than it did on the Wii U, you know, and so much and so forth. So we just want to talk about that for a minute. And the first topic we want to talk about is a potential release date, because it seems like the the Switch is already struggling with release titles because there's that rumor going around that Breath of the Wild is being delayed. That's uh I know Jeff brought that up before. And you know Nintendo doesn't have Nintendo usually releases some sort of Mario game with their with their consoles except for the GameCube, GameCube. I think they had, yeah they had Luigi's yeah, Mansion. Luigi's, yeah, Luigi's Mansion. Which but, is uh, cool by the way. Yeah that was that was a nice like step away that was, from the traditional that was cool. traditional. We get that again. Another thing another thing about the Nintendo consoles that's pretty interesting too is that like whenever you like every console like from the Nintendo up, usually came bundled with a Mario game. Like the first, the first NES. Oh, the Wii, yeah, the Wii didn't. Right? Uh, the Wii, yeah, the Wii either. But the NES had, you know, it had the Duck Hunt slash like Super Mario Brothers bundle, and then the Super Nintendo had Super Mario World. Like it was, like who had an NES or a Super Nintendo without a freaking uh, Mario, Mario World or uh, Super Mario World or freaking Super Mario Brothers? Like I, I don't know, unless you bought it like second hand. And then there was the 64 was Super Mario, uh, Super Mario 64. So, and then a GameCube with Luigi's Mansion. And the I don't, the Wii didn't get anything. I think the Wii just had all that like third-party shovelware shit that took advantage of the fucking. Uh, well, it had Twilight Princess. Yeah. It had Are you, Twilight wait, Princess. you're saying bundled? Do you mean like that shit came out with it? Yeah. Because you had to buy the system and buy the game separately. No, mostly like when I, like as far as I, I as far as I remember when we got our first NES, it was, it just came with Mario. Like we got the game for free. Like it came with that. Are super... you talking about? I think you're talking about that. What for the NES, right? So the Mario yeah. Duck Hunt. Stuff? Yeah, the bundle thing, like the the, the two in one game. Did actually come with it? Yeah, I remember for the most part, or like just a game that was like a combo. I think it came with. I think the, it. I think it, came I think with the it was actually a combo for the original NES, but yeah. I can't. I can't quite say. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember any like. Future systems being bundled with the game. I mean, maybe the Super Nintendo was, but yeah, the I Super don't... Super Nintendo definitely has Super Mario World. But I remember I the Mar uh, Mario 64. Yeah, Mario 64. I remember my mother. She bought us actually the the one that came with Super Mario 64. I'm not sure if there was like two different options at the time, but it had like Mario on the box and everything like that, and the, ga the game came with it. Because I can tell you right yeah. now, the GameCube, I'm pretty sure, did not come with jack shit. No, we said but that. We no, said that. We were we were talking about we were talking about yeah. Luigi's Mansion. And I mean, technically future iterations bundles or whatever fuck like once once new super mario brothers came out on the wii it, they they made a bundle with the wii yeah it's new super mario brothers but that's neither here nor there it's not upon release but go on yeah, yeah. so so with that with that being said you know let's say let's let's assume that breath of the wild is going to come out for march with the release of the switch let's assume it's not getting pushed back for whatever reason then you know freaking emily rogers is still going around with these rumors do you okay. do you guys think that if you think Smash would be released within the first year, do you think it'd be released at launch within the first six months, the first year? Like what? What do you guys think? Well, exactly <laughs> launch. <window>. Well, <clears throat> all right. In order for that, in order right. for us to, to sit here and speculate, the we have to first think the game has to first exist, and there's yeah. nothing that says this is this game exists. So it's kind of hard to sit here and say when it would come out. Like yeah. speculation, I, dude. I don't know. I don't think. I don't foresee that being like. I don't foresee that being a fucking launch game or anywhere near launch. That shit's gonna be like. Because when is it? When is when is the the switch supposed to be? Is, March. Is March. Twenty seventeen. March. I don't see that shit coming out till like holidays. It's twenty seventeen. For me so. personally, but like I said, that's if that even exists. Well, like, that if it's kind of it's kind of hard to sit here and say. Like, cause I, we could sit here and say all day until the fucking cows come home, 
when this fucking shit's gonna when it's gonna release. But like, I mean, no, if it comes out later that year, I mean, it would kind of make sense because like it's still for you know being a Wii U game, it's still going pretty strong on the Wii U right now, especially in the tournament scene. Because so, like I yeah. I don't know, man. Like I, if whatever they're gonna, because I'm assuming when we get more information about the Switch, come fucking what was it January? Yeah, January, January 12th. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure they're gonna put out some like at least two or three titles that they're gonna be like, oh, this is what's gonna fucking come gonna be released on launch i'm pretty sure that's like there's gonna be a few titles that's gonna come out and they're gonna want to fucking yeah. push that shit before you know a game that's that's already been that's already existed like uh, any port i feel like they're just gonna be like push that shit to the side bring the new shit in that we want to show off all right what, what do you think what do you think jeff But then again, I could be wrong. Smash, with Mario, Mario Smash Switch like, released we're, we're talking, we're talking about something like Jeremy said, don't even exist, and no one, Nintendo's yeah. not even hinting at. This is one of the major things about this. And before I go into my thoughts a little more, looking it up, <clears throat> yeah, there were bundles for games for the NES, specifically with Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt, uh, Rob the Robot with the oh my god the robot, yeah, with Gyromite. Um, just, just putting that out there. Didn't only two games support that, like Gyromite and Wrecking Crew or whatever, right? Uh, yeah, that, yeah. that was it, pretty much. So, right, keep, keep that was a cool idea, I won't lie. Anyway. Well, gotta give him credit. Um, ain't gonna come out in March. There's no fucking way. And I think Breath of the Wild's gonna be pushed back anyway. What? Thanks, what? Nintendo... I just, oh, sorry, go on. Nintendo's never... They've never really... After the fucking uh, 64, they've never really delivered... No, after the Super Nintendo, the 64 just how many games do you how, how many games do you remember fondly on the 64? Like in comparison to say the PlayStation that you had? Really, just Mario 64, Kirby 64. Honestly, the Mario right? Parties. How many games? Yeah. Star, Fox. Star Fox. Star Fox. You, how many? Like in ten, right? Maybe ten. Yeah. Right? That you can remember. I remember. It, quite it was definitely it was definitely like a handful. Like personally, for me, I can remember quite a few: Shadows of the Empire, Star Wars. Uh, Korok. Yeah. Shit like that. But like KI Gold, you fucks. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't play that. Go on, go I on, did. go on. No, go once. On. Anyway, after the Super Nintendo, Nintendo to me never really delivered as much. I don't know, sixty four. That cool. that trans that transition that staying with cartridges definitely hurt them because the transition that to was, C D yeah, like, You remember the big thing, um fucking Resident Evil two? That was like the most expensive cartridge ever to make. Yeah. They had and fucking it was so uh cut scenes and shit like i could see why square was like fuck this um yeah. uh but yeah no i think it's gonna just gonna get, get pushed back and with fucking smash going on and if it's gonna it's not gonna yeah. a possible way all right Fred, what do you what do you think not anytime soon um being that this gen of consoles has been like hd remake and bullshit like that yeah central like, I think if they are going to do a, you know, upgrade or 4.5 or whatever the fuck you want to call it, yeah. it could, like Jeremy was saying, maybe the holiday season. Because, I mean, they won't have to put as much work into that as making a whole nother game. Okay. So, so general consensus is roughly like holiday? Yeah. yeah. They, That's yeah. That's what I, I well, give it on the limited information that yeah. we have. Well, apparently they they're gonna. Year. Apparently they're gonna get more information about games that they already showed and more games during that January 12th thing. But that's still January 12th, and right now we're the day before Thanksgiving, so that's officially when we're recording. So, I mean, speaking like, of, go on. Sorry. No, no go I was ahead. gonna say speaking speaking of fucking launch games and what we think could be getting launched. What. Was, I'm gonna I'm gonna make an uh, I'm gonna call something out right here right now and I'm 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 gonna make a judgment call and uh, if I'm wrong I'm wrong but I feel like I feel like Write they might down. they might try to shit. So what's that what's that new mobile Mario game coming out? What's it called? Mario, Mario Run. Run. Super Mario yeah. Run. I calling it right the fuck now. The Switch is gonna come bundled with that just built in launch game and they're gonna try and sell it shit as a launch game. Yeah, but that game's like it's selling for mob like mobile for ten bucks if you want to buy it. And it's and only coming we, out on and, Apple for the first like few months, I believe. Wait, Mario Run. And what? Like, and what did we? Game? What did we talk about in our previous podcast? What was one of the things we talked about? We talked about fucking 
possibilities that there be mobile like mobile Mo- shit. Oh, like mobile gonna, apps. This is gonna, yeah, because this is gonna be a more this is gonna be a, a, a hybrid console between fucking home and, and mobile con- and mobile console. Yeah. So there's a possibility that they can try and take their mobile apps and fucking be like, hey, there's this new thing that we've been doing. Now that you have this fucking tablet like console that you could take any fucking where. Well, I guess it would guess be like a could... a fun change of pace, like to have like something like pre-installed in there, like Mario Run or something to keep you busy if you're too much of a cheapo to buy a game and release. Yeah. And but I don't I mean, mean I cheapo as like an insult. I mean cheapo as in like you just couldn't afford it. I I could be entirely wrong. <laughs> it could be just a, a fucking stupid basis. No, I feel it. I feel you. I feel you. I feel wait, you. Wait, wait, wait. It's, it's Mar- something I feel. Like. But I've never heard Mario Runners. You said Run. Mario Run. It should I've be called Mario. Run. It. Yeah, it's a it's it's the first like Mario Nintendo like it's a mobile, mobile game. game. What do you? It's just a free. It's like game? it's like he runs and then you like have him jump you have over to obstacles and shit. Have the screen to, to have him jump. All right, all right, yeah, it's like okay. So wait, Sonic it's like fucking has... Flappy Bird. No, I'm thinking like Sonic had a running game and it was free. <laughs> there was a Rayman game actually that came out on mobile <laughs> that uh was three dollars and it was the same concept roughly. Why the fuck are people like Sonic was free? Ten dollars though. Yeah, there. No, it's Why like it... no. You can you can play for free, but if you want like the full experience of all the modes and like everything unlocked, uh, like you can pay ten dollars or whatever. You know, in Sonic, in the Sonic running game, you can unlock okay, everything. So... In the yeah, game. but uh, okay, so but last, play. yeah, last last thought on the release date. Like, I personally, I mean, I, I kind of feel like the uh, holiday release would be appropriate, but I feel that way for a little for different reasons. Because I mean, like I know Jeremy, you know, pre podcast talk disagreed with me but like i don't know i don't know i feel as though if like nintendo could pour all this stuff pour all this stuff or enhance it and bring it over to the switch for release or within the first like six months of release yeah they could do it relatively uh, easy so i mean like... i feel as though they would want to like spread it out not only because like they'll be competing with themselves i know jeremy said like he doesn't really agree with that but at the same time like oh like breath of the wild release date for march Okay, cool. Breath of the Wild is cool. Three months later, I beat it. What else is there for my Switch? Oh, here's Mario. Okay, cool. You know, play it down the line. A few weeks pass. All right, I want something else. Well, don't get tired of your Switch now because Smash is coming out later. Okay, cool. So my interest is still sparked. Instead of, like, getting all that stuff in, like, one big pile when the console first comes out. I mean, I mean, for people like us, yeah, that will be cool because we're going to buy it anyway. Like, and, unless you're a really big Nintendo fan. Then you buy it all at bulk and then be like, all right, now... Like, I got all these games to play, this is awesome. But I feel like Nintendo's trying to, like, they're trying to consider their, like, you know, average consumer, and they're like, well, here's your, here's, like, a little bit of the, here's a little bit of what the Switch has to offer now, and when we get bored of it later throughout this year, we're releasing this game later. But go ahead, Jeremy. See, that, that kind of defeats the purpose of what, like, they're trying to go for with this whole third-party thing. Because if they're just going to focus on first party, then it's like... No, 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 I don't mean like... No, I don't mean like... I mean like Nintendo, like, themselves with their games. Like, if third party wants to release this this game the same day as Nintendo releases their game, that's on that third party. But I mean like Nintendo themselves wants to be like... Because you can't put all your faith in third party. You have to have some, like... Yeah. Oh. But I mean like... Like, if you're just going to sit here and like... Because I know what you're just saying it, but when you sit here and you're just like... Oh, so here's this. This game's gonna be coming out later, so you don't be completely bored of our system. It's like, what? What's third party doing? You know, like that. I thought I mean, that was un- the, the whole thing that they're trying to push. It's yeah, like, I know. Check I, out I, all these fucking third party publishers and developers yeah, I, that we. Yeah, I understand that, but at the same time, like, I'm just talking like strictly Nintendo. Like. No, I know, but I'm yeah. just. I, I, it just sounds odd when you say it like that. And I feel you. I feel you. Just throwing, throwing my two cents. Different out strokes there. for different folks, bro. I got you. I got you. All right, so now we're gonna move on. From the fucking release date discussion, and we're gonna move on to something a little different. So, do you guys think we're gonna start with Fred on this one, and then move our way back? But do you guys oh. think? Do you guys think that uh, if Smash does come to the Switch, which we're all sure it is, is it gonna be a direct port of the Wii U version, or is it gonna be like some enhanced version of the Wii U version? Because we got, because we now we have Smash going, you know, console and portable. So do you think they're going to say, hey, we're going to compete with, well, not compete with, but we're going to take some, like, you know, pointers from the 3DS version and, like, put some modes in there, like Smash Run, or, you know, like, you know, add new characters because the 3DS, like, held the Wii U version back because he wanted to make them on a one-on-one scale when it came to gameplay. So they were like, oh, if we're not adding this character to this console, we're not adding this console, a.k.a. Ice Climbers, because the 3DS couldn't handle eight little Ice Climbers jumping around in a row. So, what do you think, Fred? Do you think we're going to get a direct port, or did Nintendo's going to give us some, like, enhanced, like, hybrid? Well, it depends on what they're trying to do. If they're trying to get games out, 
And, okay, it depends on if they're really trying to kill the Wii U. Like, if they want to stab that Wii U in the heart, they're gonna <laughs> make a, a completely new game. Like, um... Completely but, new, or I like... Think, like, yeah, completely new game, and, like, release it later, because hmm. they, they just want to get away from that Wii U. You okay. know, have no connections to it whatsoever. But, on the other hand, you know, you keep saying Sakurai's just like, yo, bro, I, psh, I can't get a babysitter, so <laughs> fuck this. I ain't doing this no more. He's going to be like, My you know baby. what? I'll do half the work. We're, gonna, we're just going to make... We're going to well, put the Wii U version plus the 3DS version together. Well, you also got to realize, too, that, like, yeah, Sakurai puts a lot of work into these, but at the same time, you know, Bandai Namco was on board with this one. And, like, yeah. he can be, like, he can be so much as just, like, at this point, with if he brings Smash 4 over, he can just be, like, a supervisor. He can just, like, walk in the office and be, like, yes or no. And then just, like, walk <laughs> out. Like, like th at that point. I glue the two together and, like, <laughs> With the DLC, <laughs> with the DLC, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, they're fucking gonna Jeff. Throw, they're gonna throw that shit on the the Switch. Speaking of fucking Jeff, what do you think, Jeff? <laughs> it's gonna be. Like Fuck you! No one cares. <laughs> What's up, Jeremy? Oh. <laughs> no, just kidding. Wow. <laughs> no, just kidding. No. Go ahead, there's Jeff. A, there's a thing you guys are forgetting. <clears throat> what is the most the the Switch can output on? 720p. So, gee, it's already a downgrade, yeah. Well, I, from the rumors that oh, are going around, apparently wait, some wait. games like uh, like Breath of the Wild are performing better on the Switch than they are the Wii U. Performing okay. better, mind that's, you. Well, that's that's probably because it was being developed on the Switch beforehand. Wait, wait, okay, hold on. Tell me this: Does Smash play at 1080 on your Wii U? Yes. Okay. If I, yeah. So as far as I know, shit the eyes. That's a downgrade right there. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, like, you're gonna but, take it. You're gonna. I mean, it's. It might not make a big difference to some people, but you know, in this day and age, 1080p starts to make yeah, a people people bit of a difference. People love those aesthetics sometimes. They just like sometimes people just go for looks. But I understand. Sometimes, what, honestly, I understand what sometimes saying. the 720 and the 1080 thing can be a deal breaker for some. Although this is a Nintendo thing we're talking about, so I yeah. mean, people buy regardless. Well, what do you think of like, like enhanced version or well not. Oh, let's not say enhanced, but let's say like in forms of like the game itself. Do you think it's just going to be like just the Wii U version brought over, a brand new version, or like a hybrid of the Wii U 3DS version? I think it's going to. I think it'll be a hybrid. <laughs> it's going to be a hybrid. There's no way they'd like. Hey, guess what? Here's one version of it. There's no way they'd keep them separate. All right, Jeremy. Um, what, what do you think? Uh, I have a lot to say about that. Uh, uh, wait, Jeff had uh, Jeff sounded like he had a last moment. Sorry, go sorry. On, Jeff. Okay, go sorry, ahead. Sorry, sorry. No, my bad, my bad. No, I no cut you off. go ahead. I'll talk wait, wait, again wait, later. Wait, before Jeremy goes, I'm looking at a list, and it looks like Smash Brothers is really the only thing that runs in 1080, 60 frames per second. Ooh. Like, everything else runs in, like, 720, 720p, 60 frames. That's Upscale. what I'm looking at. I don't know how accurate this list is, but it looks like Smash Wii U is the only thing that's 1080. Cool. Oh, wait, hold on, never mind. Wind Waker. Ooh. Oh, Wind Waker is nice. Well, that's because Wind Waker is a fucking But it's only at 30 frames per second. <laughs> minor, <laughs> minor, <laughs> minor struggle. Oh, don't even give me that. Ugh. You don't even know the difference between 30 and 60. Get the fuck out of here. I can see it with my eyes. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jamie, what, what do you think? What do you think? Uh, well, personally, I don't, I don't, I think it's just going to be a straight Wii U port. I don't think they're going to fucking add anything else. I don't think they're going to put in the work. I think they're just gonna sit there and they're just gonna they're gonna be like, all right, port it to fucking Switch, make it make it run make it appropriate like run appropriately with the Switch. I don't think because like I don't think from what I'm to understand the Switch isn't supposed to um, compete directly with the 3DS. So what would be the purpose of fucking adding in 3DS features? Oh, they're killing that 3DS. Like, well, hold, let me finish. What would be the purpose of that? Like, the whole reason that the 3DS version was a separate version from the Wii U is for a different player base. So, like, why would you add that, all the features, into See, what I'm gonna... was essentially, which was essentially, let me finish, okay. it was essentially a, a console. I, I want to get all my thoughts out, because if you interrupt me, I'm going to forget. It, like, it, well, it's essentially a fucking, a, a fucking console version. It was just the Switch. I get it, it's a hybrid console, so why not make it, a, like, the game that's going to get ported a hybrid of both the, co of the console 
and the 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 fucking handheld. I don't I don't think they're gonna I don't think that they would do that. I don't think they're gonna do that because that would directly like get that that would defeat the purpose of the 3DS version. Who needs to fucking get a 3DS yeah. version now? I but, get it. It's a portable console, so now it's it could do portable things, and then you know, but then that would effectively kill the 3DS. All right, but I'm gonna would, have to disagree with you on that one point, only because okay. like when you said like it was made for a totally different fan base, or like or group player or whatever base. player base. There you go. I I personally think that they made a 3DS version, and hear me out, because they knew the Wii U was was struggling in the market. And they were making Smash 4, and they wanted more people to play it. And they wanted more people to be interested. I mean, Smash sells itself, in my opinion. But at the same time, not everyone has a Wii U. You have a Wii U. Fred doesn't. Uh, Jeff doesn't. A lot of other people we know don't have a Wii U because it's what's the point? I have a Wii U. Doesn't Jeff? Yeah. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, Jeff. Yeah, he has. Never mind. Never mind. My bad. My bad. Oh, yeah, I forget. <laughs> you never play it. First, you interrupt what? me, and now you assume about my gender. <laughs> <laughs> But, but, I but, but Wii U and a PS4, right. and I but identify. Like but, but the point, the point I'm trying to, the point I'm trying to make is that okay, so Fred's in here. He doesn't have it. He doesn't have a Wii U. Man. He does. He doesn't have a Wii U because Fred's he doesn't. He doesn't believe. He doesn't believe in buying the console. I, why, why don't you? Why don't you want the Wii U, Fred? There's no games. Okay. Well, I, I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna. He says quick, no games. No games. Oh. Relax for a second. I'm gonna, no games that interest him. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So here's the thing. A lot of people don't have a Wii U, but a lot of people have a 3DS. So yeah. bring Smash to the 3DS, people will buy it. Like, I understand, like, you, you said different player base, but at the same time, Nintendo knew that their console was tanking. So why not, you know, bring the console, bring the game over to the handheld work, to the most most recent successful handheld that they got, and boom, you have people playing Smash. How much is a 3DS right now, Brandon? Well, I have no idea, actually. Well, I, well, at, before I, I, cause I didn't get to finish any of my thoughts. Uh, fucking like, I don't, I don't think that the reason I don't like there, other than like it being like the 3ds version is meant specifically for, cause, cause it's in the fucking title for 3ds. I get it, like it's same thing for the Wii U version, but like fucking, like the shit that they have in that, it's like it's meant for like. It's like 3DS specific things, 3DS specific stages from like fucking portable, from portable games. And like I said, I'm gonna keep beating this in. I get it. The Switch is hybrid between portable and fucking home console. But like they're gonna have to tweak those stages, all those things from that fucking portable version. I don't think they're gonna want to do that. I think they're just gonna want to make a straight up fucking, straight up fucking port of the Wii U version. Straight to the fucking switch. Okay, so we got and like, and not just that, because like, then you're then you're gonna be changing a lot of things. Like, then it's gonna be like, all right, well, what you gotta decide on what stages you want to put in, because they're not gonna put all of portable, all of, like portable exclusive stages in. They're not gonna like, they, and if that's the case, they're not gonna want to put maybe all the fucking console exclusive stages. In. But even stages they're like Corneria have... made its way to uh, the 3DS version. I mean, I would love to see Corneria come back to the console version. You know, that's like one yeah. of our favorite maps. But that okay, but that's like what I'm saying is like they're not gonna take every. I don't think they're gonna take like you're gonna have to put in the work to get those stages like I understand. to work to work from a 3ds environment, which is obviously weaker than the Wii U, and also by proxy fucking weaker than the fucking Switch. And you're gonna have to like get all those features working, and then the whole fucking what was it Smash Run? Yeah. I forgot what it's called. Yeah, Smash Run. Smash Run. I don't think they're like they're not going to implement that either because like that's going to be a whole other thing that's that they're going to have to put in, put in the time and work. If they, and I don't think they're going to. I don't so, think because like the, you got to take into account too like the fact that the development teams and like all the people that work on the game they're probably on other projects. Yeah. Like, they're probably not going to have the time to work on this shit too because I guarantee you because look at look at their third party list if they're really if they're really serious about that. And they really have people get put in and work to put all these fu whatever these put in, developers are putting on the Switch. They're not gonna have a time to sit there and go back to fucking Smash and be like, "Hey, go fucking port this shit and f add all this shit into uh, this this new version." I think they're just gonna straight up just like bring over the fucking so, Wii U. So we have we have Fred and Jeff who think that it's gonna be some sort of hybrid. We got you who thinks it's gonna be a port. I mean, I can I mean I kind of agree with you, Jeremy, because like. <laughs> You know the whole extra work thing and everything. But if like if they do anything to the Switch version, I just hope they enhance the, the online a little bit. You know, st take a step away from full fun and full glory mode and add something. Like you know, even Brawl had like you know multi-man melee online. I think it had the home run contest online. 
I just hope they bring something like that back to online because it, it just gives you something to do to step away from the standard, like you know, like you know. I mean, I like it's fucking competitive aspect yeah. of it. I mean, I, I love the competitive. I love the competitive and casual side, but also like you know, just to do other shit, I, like working Fred on Multi Man Melee on. Yeah, you know, that's, that's it was shit. pretty fun. Yeah. Like it was just pretty fun, and I hope they do something like that. You know, because fucking the, shoot the targets. Yeah, Brawl was like Brawl might have not been the best match, but it was like spewing with content. Like oh my god, like so much. Well, that's that that game. Like that's why four Smash Four doesn't like. In terms, like, it's a better game in terms of gameplay, but in terms of content, fucking no other. I don't think any Smash is gonna is gonna trump fucking Brawl. Yeah. Brawl has. Like, well, it also had. Content. It also had the subspace emissary with like, which like a lot of people miss. But it's Sakurai. No fucking story mode. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like Sakurai was like, there's no point because people are just gonna leak the cutscenes online and stuff like that. It's gonna ruin the experience. But I, I, I liked seeing like Snake interact with like the Nintendo characters and. Fucking like people, they all didn't talk. Yeah, they, they didn't talk, but like the interactions were like, you know, yeah, this is great. Didn't, they didn't need to talk. It was like, you know, fucking Link thinking that like Mario killed uh, like freaking Zelda, so he runs up on him and attacking him. Like, I, I love that shit. Mario, Sonic showing up at the end and shit, saving the day. Yeah. You know, it, it, it was cool. I that mean, like dude. that that guy. But we're we're not gonna get anything like that for. I feel like, like with that, we're not gonna get anything like that for Smash Four or Smash Switch. It's just not gonna happen. But I just hope they enhance the online a little bit. You know, maybe give us some lobbies or some shit like that. DLC. Something more DLC, but we're gonna get to that. <laughs> we're gonna get okay. to that. Calm down, calm down. We're gonna uh, get to that. Yeah, I, no, yeah, no, I'm you. saying include the DLC. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But just if they're gonna justify the the price, the full price. They're gonna need to at least do that. All right, guys. So we're running in. We're running to the end of this podcast, but I want to bring up one more point, and then we're gonna close out. But uh, our last point I want to bring yeah. up is. Do you think if they bring Smash over to the Switch, if this is just going to be a platform for Smash? What I mean by that is, let's say they do bring Smash 4 over, Smash 4 Wii U. Let's say it is like a direct port, all DLC included. Smash is getting pretty popular, well, it is already popular in the esports uh, thing. Nintendo is showing their support for esports. Do you think that, with you know, if they do bring Smash Wii U to the, the Switch and it's called Smash Switch or Smash whatever, do you think that it's just going to be just a flat out version and they're just going to leave it like that and let it just like go on for years? Or do you think they're going to show some support for it, keep releasing patches and DLC throughout the years that it goes throughout the Switch's life? Uh, well, I, I don't think they're going to like the game's done. Yeah. Like in order for them to add more to it, Sakurai is going to have to get back on board. He's going to have to work his fucking broken hands. Even further broken. Well, see, I, I feel like, as though, like, Bandai, you know, Namco has it. Like, Sakurai doesn't always have to jump on board. I mean, like, Metal Gear's gonna keep going even though Kojima's out there. Yeah, it might be shit. But, yeah, but Smash 4 yeah. is already a solid game, so if they just add more character and stuff to it and have, like, even Sakurai come in every so often and approve it or something, I mean, he doesn't have to work too hard. I mean, the, like you said, the game's already made. It's already there. So if they add new characters to stages, does he really have to work that hard? I'm not, it's not. It has nothing really to do with him working hard. It's just the fact that, like, you know how he is, and like how he's like sit there and said before that he like he's very picky with the game. Yeah. Because it's that's his game. Smash is his thing. Like he's very picky with it, and he's shown it and said it multiple times. Like I don't think it's just gonna be something that simple where he'll just like come in and be like, yeah, I approve of this. Yeah, that's fine, and he'll just walk away. Like it's not gonna be that easy. That dude, like, it's gonna require a lot of work if they're gonna sit there and put in DLC characters. And then maybe with these characters are gonna throw in a new stage. I mean, Nintendo will. Shit. Nintendo will obviously want to keep Sakurai. Like he's he's like one of their one of their best. Well, well that's but, not what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm but not I'm saying, saying they're gonna like. No, I, I understand them. But the point I'm trying to make is that they're obviously gonna want to keep him. So they're gonna want like, if the if Nintendo goes out and says like, get out of here, cat. This cat's like, <laughs> yeah, <right here."> cat <laughs> interruptions. But uh. So obviously Sakurai is important to Nintendo. I mean, like we've seen strained relationships before. KJ and Fune with Capcom, Kojima with Konami. But if Nintendo, if Sakurai said, no, there's no way we're adding DLC or Smash or anything, and Nintendo says, well, screw you, like we own this, we own this bitch. We want to add DLC and, sm and Smash and add all these stages and stuff. I mean, either he's on for the ride or he can just go somewhere else, and Nintendo's gonna go with it anyway. Hey, let me ask you something. What's up? Do you really think, after all these years, that Nintendo would fuck over their golden boy? Well, I'm not going to say they're going to fuck him over, but Konami's, like... Konami, well, if you were to put this in the retrospect, 
Konami, like, with Konami and Kojima, for one, like, Konami's a shit company, and they were starting to go down the fucking tubes, because all they want to focus on is casino stuff with their resorts as well. Oh, you mean, like, Pachinko and shit? That was evident. That was third party. Same deal with Capcom. Right? They're third party. Do you really think a first party company that's having trouble staying afloat with their consoles right now would get rid of Sakurai? The guy who's responsible for kind of. A lot of kinda, games. I'm not going to. Uh, not only a lot of games, but kind of carrying them. I'm not saying that the they're going to get. It, I'm not going to say that they're getting rid of them. He says, if th this is the kind of dude. Sakurai's the kind of dude, I bet, who's got like enough fault Nintendo where it's like if he says no. They're gonna listen to him. Yeah, that like he there's... really doesn't want to, because they are a Japanese company and they don't let that golden goose go for nothing. They're look not at, gonna look like at, that's like Konami, right? They listen to Kojima almost everything until his request got uh, absurd. You know, well, his request of a shit ton of money, and then they're like, saying, yeah, you're, like, what, you're costing us a lot of money. Well, that that saying. was that was between both of them, but yeah, that's that's yeah. that's that's a separate thing. Like with Sakurai and Nintendo, like they have a pretty decent relationship they're like like sakurai is like jeff said he's the fucking golden child right now over Dude, Nintendo. Who's left? like who's that left? that's that's Game their go the that is their go-to guy he doesn't just do fucking smash Brothers. he's not just the smash brothers guy that's kirby now he does kid icarus he hey, does yeah fucking... matt you like kid icarus right man that game was great uprising best 3ds game ever played. sakurai doesn't want to make another like it's it like they're not just gonna sit here and like if he chooses not to, they're not just gonna be like oh we'll just roll with it without him. No, they're not gonna do that. Nintendo's not gonna do no, that. No, I, I understand because... that, but at the same time with the support with the esports and everything, I can like for a fighting platform like Smash, I I can see like down the road them adding a little more like to it. Those those DLC characters, that shit came from Sakurai. He wanted those characters. Cloud. Those characters came from him. It no, the people from... want a cloud, Jeff, and he was like, okay. No, Rock he was. He wanted. No, what does she? What does she want? Cloud too. It was more like that. <laughs> it was more like the fucking picture is just like, don't ever ask me for anything again. <laughs> <Here's> <laughs> but yeah, no, like here's dark. Here's dark classic. Pit. A lot of that <laughs> shit. A lot of that shit came from him. Like Lucas, me too. Roy, yeah. Ryu, fucking. Uh, wait, Cloud didn't win. The people didn't want Cloud. No, fucking, Cloud. They wanted Bayonetta. Cloud was put in. No, as Cloud was a pole. Square's deal. Yeah, but he was also he was also another pole character. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. It wasn't he didn't get the bigger votes. It was, Goku it and Shrek came... got the bigger votes. Yeah. The if you also, if you also oh, look, if you also look at every time he mentioned the poll, it said in a little disclaimer on the bottom, it said within reason or with like I it was like in realistic reason or some Shrek shit like is that. Not within reason. Shut the fuck up. You mean to tell me Nintendo Sakurai can't go to DreamWorks like corporate office, slam his penis on the table, and be like, <laughs> "Look at this. Give me Shrek." But to close out what I'm saying. <laughs> Is I, I I don't I don't think they're gonna add anything else to it. I think they're just gonna pull over the base game and they're just gonna leave it at that because that it, the game's done. The game's done. There's nothing further to do with it. How often does Nintendo? If they, okay, let me let me ask you this then. No, we we know how you we know how you feel, Jeremy. But let me ask you about this. Do you think they'll continue uh, patching it or supporting it through updates to change some gameplay mechanics? Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no. I think you. I think they're gonna roll with the version they got now, and they're not gonna change anything else. Cause the game, technically, I guess the game's like, it, it, like it, it had its time. I guess you can say, even though I know it still played competitively, but that's competitively, like fucking, it had its time, and they're not, I don't think they're gonna keep it going, like 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 say Capcom is with Street Fighter, because they want to keep that game going for years, cause they're not gonna release another new game anytime soon, obviously. Smash like. They're gonna keep it going. They're gonna, like you're gonna say, sit here and say they'll keep it going for however long, just so they can release another Smash. If they do that, I don't know. That just seems odd to me. All right, let's move on to let's move on to Jeff. What do you think? This is what Jeremy said. They're just gonna put that version up. It I, might look. I, it's not gonna look as nice. Like if it's gonna be running at 720, it's not gonna look as nice. Might not, maybe it won't play. Nah, I can it might not even. It might not even run as nice. Yeah, I don't I mean, know. It's gonna be. I mean, I don't all, know. all reports say probably... that the all, all reports say that the Switch outperforms the Wii U. It's a stronger piece of hardware, apparently. Yeah, that's reports though. Yeah. We don't actually I know. know. We nothing. don't. We as we don't. Should, we shouldn't have to disclaim this, but we all know everything's speculation at this point. We know this. We don't have to keep saying it. 
Everything's speculation. Smash was even revealed or even like thought of, and Nintendo's probably not even gonna do it. We all know this. But we have to assume that Nintendo's next console will at least have to be a bit stronger than the Wii U. Because if it's weaker, I understand it's a hybrid console. It's a console handheld hybrid. I understand that. But do you really think they're gonna make it weaker than the Wii U? How many gigs of RAM does it have? Double the Wii U's apparently, which is four gigs, which is fucking sad. But still. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking, so, what was it? A 32 the, gig hard switches, drive? God, Besides that, this, all stuff we talked way. about in our first podcast, check it out. It's like over two hours long. If you have nothing to do and you're sad all by yourself at home, watch it, please. I love you guys. Fred, what do you think? You can hear Matt. What were we talking about again? <laughs> <laughs> again! again! <laughs> I'm trying to get. Damn Jeff, it, Matt! Jeff, Jeff, Jeff wasn't done. Hey, right. no, go, just go, Fred. Just Apparently, just, I can't just, like just, fucking finish. No, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Let me, let me, let me Go ahead. Here's a disclaimer, Matt. Stop fucking interrupting. No, no. Here, here's another. Here's another. Dis, here's another disclaimer. We agreed on. We agreed on the 30 to 35 minute podcast. And we're already on like 45 or 50 minutes. So I'm trying to hurry things along. So it Jeremy doesn't take forever to render. Time. Jeremy you likes. Do. Jeremy has his. Jeremy has his art of like cutting me off when I try to cut him off, and it just works so perfectly. He has an art. He has it down to an art, bro. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Talk. All right. Let's get yeah, go. Go ahead, Jeff. Oh, go, Fred. I don't even Go. know what we're talking about. Uh, I got lost. <laughs> I got lost. We're talking Jeff. About, yeah, we're Jeff, talking finish your thought. If, hold on, hold on. We're talking about if Smash is going to be a platform or not, meaning if they'll, if they'll just release the base game and leave it at that, or if they'll just keep adding shit onto it with this new release, this, this new version of it. So if they theoretically release the new one, are they going to keep updating it? Yes, if they're going to update it or not. Um, I would say they should, because, like, for real? You want people to keep buying shit? Come on, make that money. Put Django in. Let's go, Tenko. Oh my god, yeah. toasty. That's That'd Konami, man. Konami don't want shit to do with gaming anymore. Yo, know, exactly. So just be that, like, Bike Tai. Yeah, the Bike Tai Pachinko machine is sitting outside in the sun somewhere, <laughs> and no one's playing that, it. <laughs> that character was long dead before the shit happened with Konami, anyway. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. So is that? Wait, I got one more thing. You know what they need to stop, they they need to do? What's stop that? fucking around. Let's let's get this Crystal Chronicles going again. Let's do some shit like that. Like for real, we me and Jamal are talking about this bullshit. Like, where where's the games like Four Swords or like Crystal Chronicles? Like, we That's have the capabilities of online play now, but we don't get good games where we can. Cooperate. Well, I know we mentioned well, this in the of, that last kind of podcast. Co-op, that kind of co-op is a thing of the past, man. Yeah. Shit, I know, not gonna... and it's, it's a disgusting, terrible thing. Co-op, co-op nowadays is spraying and praying, spraying and praying. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm straying from the top. It's okay. But Jeff, do you want to finish up your last thought? No. Gotcha. <laughs> Move on to the next fucking top. No, that's Dude, it, that man. That was it, bro. That's it, bro. So get your last words in now while you can, because we're about to close out, nigga. Uh, thank you for listening to the Matt Interrupts People podcast. <laughs> thank you Please for listening to this quality subscribe to the Subscribe to our channel, Turbo Select DX, so that way you can hear him interrupt people more. <laughs> in the middle of their fucking thoughts. Thank you. Yeah, bro, shit, Matt. Bro, there was, like a ten, there was like a ten second pause where you were saying nothing. This is Nothing. not welcome because to Because you welcome, keep interrupting me, fucker! Uh-huh. <laughs> welcome, to the, <laughs> welcome to the Matt Eat Shit cast, where Matt eats shit all day, every day. Fucking for talking about this stupid Smash bullshit, I can't even <laughs> talk about it. Hey man, buy for Wii U. I'm gonna get it for you for Wii U. You're not gonna have fucking DLC and you're gonna have to pay for everything you get. Shut the fuck up, I'll put you that remember, evil on me. I want you to know, before we end this, I want you to fucking remember something. <laughs> Remember when the goddamn Wii U came out to like pay us X amount of dollars and you could have bullshit or whatever? What? I forgot exactly what it was, but Nintendo was charging people you could buy this game that's on it's on the Wii U, right? It was on the eShop, I think. If you previously purchased it on oh, the Wii Oh, for the Wii. Yeah, you can, you, you can uh, Yeah, give us it. fucking money and you can have this fucking game you already own. So there's your fucking hint right there, PZ. There's your fucking hint, okay? <laughs> <laughs> this is no longer did Smash it, for Switch. This what? is this is Jeff Hayes Nintendo. Let's go, Jeff. Let's go. <laughs> or or did people forget that? Did you forget that? Nintendo <laughs> no, makes you pay for things no, no, multiple no, fucking times. Yeah, well, I brought this up before, but Mario Super Mario was it Super Mario Brothers three? You want to buy it? Buy it five dollars. Buy it five times. Fuck you. I think we brought that up in our two hour lecture. Yeah. Well, I'm just. 
Yeah. Because okay. I didn't get the finish before, and I just want to make sure this is reinforced. Nintendo forces you to buy things multiple times. Forever. Yeah, I shouldn't have to. If I swear to God, I swear to fucking God, if the Switch comes out, and they're just like, hey, guess what? You got Metroid fucking Super Metroid and Metroid Fusion on the Switch. I have to buy that shit again. I'm going to be pissed off. You have it on the Wii? You, have you don't have to. I have it you on, have on my Wii I have you it on my Metroid Wii U. Fusion and if on the I Wii want, U? And if I, want Super Metroid, if I want Super Metroid on my fucking 3DS, I have to pay again. You don't have to. Hey, anyway, guys, join us for our next yep. podcast where we rant about Nintendo and how much they suck. This is the most like DX. Subscribe to us. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Talk to you guys later. Please, Bye. Please watch. Please. Like us. Yeah. Watch us. If you want to hear just rants on Nintendo, you have to subscribe to us. Get it. Get it. Get it now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>